seconds till the enemy reaches the We are looking at Futaba. He's going to be in this expo in the jungle. We kind of talked about the expo. Dang. Able to claim the tier one turret on the bot side and gets out of there with the heart guard. Provided by Coral. First blood does get drawn though into the hands of Black Shoes. Kazue. Final slash. Misses by a hair. Goes back in with the demon gaze. I don't know if this is a hey, oh. should have pushed back. That is going to be the second kill pickup. One of those pickups that uh, if you're behind, it's very hard to catch back up. And this is exactly why we say that. Just kind of pay attention to the difference between him and Mobile Zane right now. We're seeing Mobile Zane already. Putting that into fruition. Gonna go ahead and take this purple buff. Nobody there to contest. And connects with the dentist as well before the setup, but nobody to follow through. Zane! No additional members necessary. We'll be able to pick up the kills fights. No problem. We'll just take the farm. And that's what we're seeing so far. Battle of Farmville between both of these teams. Final slash going down though. Taba able to find an answer. Takes down basic last of sanity in. Able to throw on this Lord. No contest. Yet another objective for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Just Final slash though in the mid lane. Big! No fury from Ultralis for the quadruple knockup onto BTK. Nicolette will take him down though. To respond, Harkard activated on Milo. It's gonna rush in, but on the top side, well. With the advantage of the separation, he's going to make his way into the tier 2 turret. We'll be able to burst it down. Lord is making his way too. He's not going to try and chunk that out. Have the Lord in their favor. When talk picked up from basic, be able to deal some more damage. Especially with his basic attacks. Quadruple. Final slash going down from Causeway. Unfortunately, not going to lead to a kill. Moba Zane. Apex Predator is not careful. Nicolette dealing some damage. Inhibitor in the mid lane. Does drop very low. Moba Zane will claim it. Lord. Will fall. One inhibitor left to go through. Milo finds Futaba. Now shifting focus over to the top side. Arc guard hovering around him. Cold World. Ready to let it drop. Crocs it on Milo. Rushes in for the kill. Basic finds Causeway. Well. We'll shut down Milo even through the Heart guard. Forces Cold World out. Basic. We'll take down Ultralist. Base Crystal. 50% HP. Basic. With the Blazing Wet. First and well. And Dozer at back into the base. And down goes the Crystal. BTK. Able to shut down Apex Predator. But they have piqued my curiosity to see if this uh, Dyroth can do anything. Majority of the time for BTK in the qualifiers, but it looks like Cold World is back in effect. Heavy spin, though, from Booga Booga does go out. Able to pin into Cold World. Not able to get out. With the power of Gloom, Boca Roscoe will draw first blood. First kill will go to the Bloodhounds with the Turtle. Second one of the day, looking like it may go into the hands of BTK. Sleeps. Trying to find a way to wrap around. Easy peasy. Maybe able to go in for the contest. He does have the retribution. Two turrets for the Bloodthirsty King. Six minutes in. Booga Booga though. Flicker play goes in. Heavy spin, but basic. Some nice damage. We'll be able to shut him down. Cool World with the spatial migration out of the tier one turret. Finish off one with a nine minute. The second game was a DQ, so they got a little bit of a break, and now they're into round three. And putting on some good pressure. Speaking of pressure, Spatial Migration going in. Milo trying to get to the front line. Ramsey's very low. Ooga Booga as well. 25 memories from Basic. We'll find him. Moba Zane finds another. Ramsey's will fall. And that is going to be a two for none trade. Sleeps very low. Trying to get away from that Eternal Guardian game. Bloodhounds trying to find some answers. But BTK not letting them. You're going to see Nicolette find easy peasy. Wraps around behind the tier two turret to get the kill. That will be her first kill of the game, and the tier two will fall. Moba Zane able to knock it out. Four to one now, leading by three kills. Dominant size picked up from Ooga Booga. See any other heals? I mean, maybe it's the C. I don't know about the CC too much, so maybe it's that. But easy peasy. Hit with special migration. Nicolette with the follow through is going to go ahead and take down the jungler for the Bloodhounds. And now, this has been on point. They've been able to take majority of these neutral objectives. This is similar to how it's been going for game and gladiators. Booga Booga forced to use the heavy spin. Some early utility base baited out. Basic will get him, though, with the Torn Apart Memories. All the way by the base crystal. Gets a double. Sets down Ramsey's as well. Easy peasy. Boca Roscoe sleeps. Let the defend. And it looks like BTK is knocking on the door. Trying to take out this inhibitor turret. Zane will be able to claim it. And now the base has been cracked open like a can of worms. Aren't able to kind of seal the deal and close the game out. And then the other side is able to turn it around in the late phase. Easy peasy though, a little bit of that struggle. I mean, he's sitting 0, 2, and 0. Hasn't really been able to get majority of his farm. And now he's just going to have to wait until they get those items. 
You're looking at BTK up by 10,000 gold and climbing. Basic finds Ooga Booga going in for the finish. Zane will find sleeps. A stun with Detonus. Welcome connecting. And Zane gets the double. Ramses will fall. Two members left to go through and a base crystal. And it looks like they are going in for the kill for the finish. Minions on the top side will make it in, but not fast enough as BTK will go ahead and move on for taking down the Bloodhounds in the NACT Spring Season Stage 3 Qualifiers. Golly. That was quick, guys. That was quick.